Good morning, everyone. So, my dog and I are here. We just arrived at the barn. Uh, today, I'm going to be doing a barn vlog. I'm doing something fun today. Um, today, I'm entering my second online horse show. I posted a couple videos ago of me entering my first online dressage show, and then today, I'm going to be doing that for a second time. I'm really, really excited. Last time was a really good educational experience for me. I screwed up the test like crazy, and I just did a lot of things wrong. Um, I was taking dressage lessons and then unfortunately when COVID hit, I wasn't able to take the lessons anymore because my coach couldn't come to my, um, farm. But I feel like we have progressed a lot in the past month. I wanted to do a little comparison video of last month and then this month. Um, so I think that'll be like my next video once I get my scores back. But I think that'll be a really cool video to see just how far we came in just one month's time. I don't know what you're looking at. Anyways, okay, so let's get started with today's part. It's a really beautiful day. I'm so excited. We've had terrible, terrible weather all May here in Ontario, Canada. Um, but it's beautiful today and we're having like a whole week of like super warm weather. So that's amazing. I'm so excited. And Lenny the cat's coming to say hi. These guys are honestly the cutest cats and the nicest cats of all time. And my dog loves them. Look at how happy they are. They love each other. Okay, let's go feed my horses. If you watched my last video, you know kind of what my barn routine is, so you'll know what's happening. Um, but today is not one of the days I do barn chores. I like to vlog on days where I'm not doing barn chores because it saves me some time. I'm going to ride one of the horses I ride for work today because um, I'm going to put her up for sale soon. So hopefully I will do that towards the end. But I came to the barn a bit late today, so we'll see what happens before the bugs and the heat gets crazy. Good morning, baby. Good morning. Hi, Windsor. Come here. Oh, mom is in the way. Hi, baby. Also, look at how many rabbits we have. We have so many baby rabbits. This one's really cute. I really like that one. Anyways, we have a lot of baby rabbits right now. Yes, hello. Oh my goodness, we've got our fly mask off. Okay, well, I will also have to go for a hunt, on a hunt for a fly mask because somebody took their fly mask off. Okay, I've got both mares. I'm gonna put them in a stall and then feed them both up at the barn while I set up the arena. The arena looks so pretty right now with these trees because they're blossoming, it's so pretty. Anyways, I thought I'd just kind of show you like the exercise I jumped yesterday. So I jumped this really fun grid yesterday. It's a Lainey Ashker grid. Um, I saw it on her Instagram and Facebook. So what it is pretty much is it's just like seven feet jump with V-poles, nine feet Cavaletti, nine feet jump with V-poles, nine feet Cavaletti. And this did wonders yesterday for Tulip's jump shape. Like it just, it did so well. Um, the jumps aren't super high because I just felt it was really good for them technically, but it really made them round over the jumps, but I didn't want to throw the jumps up too high while they were just learning the exercise. And they were both really good. It really helped with both of their shapes. Alrighty, my dressage arena is done. Sorry, that was really fast, but it's not that exciting. <laughs> Anyways, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to like walk through it on the ground because like I said last time, I screwed it up so badly. So I'm gonna walk it through, make sure I have it down pat before I get on my horse, who is still eating. However, I just noticed some horses got loose. So I'm gonna have to go deal with that first. <laughs> so I realized I never think I ever like showed you my new saddle. So this saddle I got on Facebook for a really, really good deal. Look, it's obviously like almost brand new. And then I got the hack of putting your stirrup leathers underneath your saddle to um, save the saddle flaps from Talisha Beardsmore. She's another YouTuber, so really cool hack that she mentioned in one of her videos that I now do. It fits to up like a glove, like it fits her so, so well. And it's just super comfortable and I love riding in it. So that is my new dressage saddle. All right. We are all warmed up. She's feeling pretty good today. Unfortunately, like I said, those horses got loose and so she's really tense because of that, which is unfortunate because last time I filmed, there was like kind of a thing that happened before I got on also. So she was also tense that day. So it just seems like it's bad luck. <laughs> We're riding on days where it's a bit tense already, but that's okay. She's starting to settle in, which is feeling good. Um, yeah, I just need someone to film me now. So hopefully someone comes soon. Yep.
so I've untacked Tulip, tacked up Maeve, and we're on our way down. I'm going to run through my test and then get someone to film it for me. Good stuff, but my phone's about to die, so that's kind of scary. Okay, Maeve is all done. She was super good, really relaxed, but she's very itchy right now. Anyways, um, the bugs are crazy down there though, so my poor camera women is miserable. Okay, so the horses are back there. I'm in their field and I'm just going to open the back gate. I've just been slowly like increasing their time on grass because we don't have a lot of grass here. Um, so right now my routine is after I ride both of them, I just kind of open the gate. And and then I close it again later tonight. So they've got this whole, you can't really see, backfield. It goes pretty far back. But they get to eat grass on. I also found Maeve's fly mask. It was over in her hay. Okay, go, go with your friend. Off they go. Happy horses. Okay, here's my next victim. Her name is Cola. She's wearing the ugliest bride of all time, but she's a little pony mare that we have, that will be up for sale soon. So I've got to ride her and train her and get her ready for that. Yes, she's really fun. I started her actually a couple years ago, so we know each other. Don't worry, I'm just on my driveway still. I'm not on an actual road. Um, anyways, I know this one maybe wasn't the most thrilling vlog I've ever done, <laughs> but thank you guys so much for watching. I will definitely have that like comparison video up soon for you guys of like last month and then this month. Also, I do partner with Better Dressage Score, so I can actually get you guys 10% off code. I have the code up on the screen, but you can use that code at checkout to get 10% off, so that's a really fun thing that you guys can do. I really recommend it. I honestly, when I first did these online dressage shows, I didn't think I would like them or find them as beneficial as I did, but I got so much good feedback that I applied right away to my riding and it made such a big difference. Um, and I feel like I'm way more prepared, so when I do spend a ton of money to go out and show at a real show, then I'm gonna be way more prepared and place better and just do better and have um, a better experience because I've practiced so much at home. So I really recommend doing these. I know a lot of you guys are able to start riding again because the restrictions are lifting with COVID. So it's really exciting you guys can all do that. Hey guys, sorry about the really bad lighting, but I just forgot to mention earlier that Better Dressage Scores has a really cool new option for Barnes. So normally how their um, judging works is you get placed based on your score and then how that would compare in the average competition. There's a bit more about that on the website if you wanna read more about how they judge. They have a new option for individual barns. So an individual barn can go and create their own show and then all the people from their barn can actually enter that show individually as opposed to just being in with everyone else. So that's a really cool opportunity that Better Dressage Scores has. So you guys should go check that out. I'm actually on the website entering right now and it's super simple. All you do is you add the tests you want to your cart and then you use the coupon code EquineCast, remember, to get 10% off and then you're good to go. It's super simple. So that's all for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Bye.